people think the world is falling apart. Public schools are going woke. Private schools are going woke. I got a email from a listener the other day in her public school system. Her daughter is a public school teacher and they're having to uh, read books on white privilege and how to be an anti-racist from the communist dude up north. They're, they're having to, to go through all of the woke nonsense and there's deep frustration and seething and resentment. Some teachers can help to undermine the whole agenda in their schools, but the wokes are coming for them. The parents who signed this letter at Westminster in Atlanta couldn't put their names on it. They're scared of what will happen to their kids or to themselves. Up in New York, no parents have come up yet to speak about the Grace School situation. But you've got one teacher lashing out, uh, explaining what's happening, where ideas like objectivity and individuality are considered white supremacy now. It's happening around the country. A lot of people can't homeschool their kids. So what do you do? You can't homeschool your kids. You both work. What do you do? One, go find a classical education group. We moved our kids from one school to another. It's classical Christian education. Um, you, The parents are all interviewed on their faith before the kids can come in. They take Bible classes. We raise them in our faith. But more importantly, surround them with good people. You know, my, So my kids now, they're 12 and 15. Your kids all, because you did too, let's just acknowledge it, we all reach a point in our age when we're teenagers where we don't necessarily think our parents are the fount of all wisdom that we did when they were when we were kids. We kind of realized they were winging it on questions we asked. Dad, explain nuclear energy theory to us as a kid and your dad says something creative and you think he's a genius and then you get to be a teenager and you think, wow, he just totally made it up. Maybe my parents don't know everything. But... More often than not, your parents surround themselves with people who share their values. And you don't listen to your parents, but you listen to the people your parents surround your kids with and they share your values. And so you're still showing your kids, you know, we're not alone. One of the things the left does, one of the things the wokes do is they try to isolate and alienate. They try to make you feel like you're alone. Nobody believes this stuff anymore. Nobody believes Christian values. Nobody believes conservatism. Nobody believes America is the land of the free and the home of the brave. Nobody believes America is the last best hope for mankind. You tell your kids this, your kids get to the age where they begin to doubt things. You say you're surrounded with people who also believe it and your kids realize you're not alone. My parents may be idiots, but their friends who I like, who their kids are my friends, their parents believe it too. It must be true. You can't raise your children in a bubble. I'll, I, as much as we want, let's let's be honest here. We all want to. We don't, but we can't. But you can surround your children with good people. You can, in some cases, if you're in a private school, move to a different private school. Now, I will tell you this. Sometimes it's hard, and sometimes your kids can resent it, and sometimes they're always looking at greener pasture. We moved our kids from a school that had a bigger athletic program, bigger drama program, bigger fine arts program. My child's, my oldest is an artist. But the the new school is smaller, doesn't have all the amenities or or money that the other school had, but uh, the kids are really happy now. It took time to get into it and to make friends. Sometimes you gotta do what's right for your family. And oftentimes you need to understand that though you're sending your kid to the prestigious school the prestigious school is going to rot their soul. And the thing that you have got to internalize and understand above all else is what happens now matters for eternity. And your child's soul is more important than their income. And you may think, I need my kid to go to this school so they can get into the Ivy League, so they can be rich and successful in this world. But do you really want your child to gain the world and lose eternity. Those sorts of things matter. And we don't talk about it. And, and conservatives on talk radio, we, we don't talk about it. I, I, I'm i I'm living the life now with my family where, where we, we've we got to consider these things and, and what are our values and how do we reflect them to our kids so that when our kids grow up, what they're, they, they know what we believe and they know what they believe. And hopefully they're the same thing. I, I want my kids to have a relationship with God so in eternity I can still see them and not be separated by the great chasm of eternity. 
I, I, I do. It, it matters to me. It's something that, that I worry about. And I don't, I, I think we, we all live so much for the here and now, we do forget about eternity sometimes, but eternity is still there. It's real. I assure you, it's real. You may not believe me. One day you will, and by then it'll be too late. Don't be making decisions now thinking you're going to set your kids up for this life because this life doesn't last as long as eternity, and that's what matters. 